guys, it's Di from Bee Mommy with Style, and today I'm going to be making another princess tulle skirt Easter basket. So I loved the Rapunzel one that I did so much that today I'm going to be doing Elsa from Frozen Fever, and I'm also planning on doing Anna from Frozen Fever as well. So I have the supplies here to do Elsa. She's got some pink flowers on her dress, and I found all these at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be using more of like a greenish tint teal because her dress is more of like a green, and then also this lighter teal color because that's what the overlay is. And I have some of this yarn left over from where I did the braid for Natalie, the dress up braid, so I'll try to remember to link that down below if you haven't seen that. But I'm gonna be using that sparkly, if you can see the sparkles in it, that sparkly white yarn to do the braid over the top. So this is gonna be very similar to the Rapunzel one, so let's get started. So again, the first step's going to be a cut a number of lengths of these tool pieces, and you just want the length to be whatever twice the length on your basket is. So I found, especially with these baskets, just putting it in the basket and rolling it out was the quickest, easiest way to cut tools. So I'm going to cut a number of these strips tool out to make my skirt. Then after you have a number of each color tool cut out that you're going to be using, I just set those to the side and you can start making your skirt. We're going to be doing it exactly how we did the Rapunzel skirt, but if you didn't see that video, you just take your tool, you fold it in half, and you're going to be pressing it from behind and pushing it through the loops making it a loop in the front and then pulling the tool down through and that is what makes your skirt. So I'm going to be doing that all the way around and then I'm going to be alternating colors. So I'm going to take a piece of the darker one and make my loop here and then pull it through. You just want to figure out how close you want them together or how spaced out you want them and I'm just going to repeat this process all the way around the basket and that's what's going to give us our poofy skirt look. Then after you have the tool all the way around the sides of the basket, you can take your scissors and if there's any longer pieces that you want to cut off, you can kind of cut those off so it's at the length that you want. And again, just like I said with the Rapunzel basket, I find that it kind of works better if there's not exactly a straight edge with these tool skirts, just because it kind of lays nicer that way. So I'm just going to cut it around, but I don't want it to be too exact. So this is what the skirt of the basket looks like and after you're done with your skirt you can move on to working on the hair on the basket. So Elsa is easy because she has a braid so we're going to be doing another braid with this yarn. So I'm just going to cut out a number of pieces of the yarn and tie them all together just like I did for the Rapunzel braid. So after you have all of the yarn cut out to the length that you want, you go ahead and divide this into three parts and you braid it and I've just tied it off together here at the top. They're going to separate it out into three parts and create my braid. And then after you have your braid put together, I just tied it off at the top and I also tied it off at the bottom. I cut it at a V-angle just to kind of simulate what hair would look like down there at the bottom. And then we're going to hot glue it directly to the handle where you want it placed and add some embellishment. After you have your braid all completed, you can place it on the basket where you are wanting to hot glue it. And then I have my hot glue gun ready over here to the side. So I'm just going to take this and place a little bit of hot glue where I am wanting to attach the braid. And I have just made enough so I'm going to tuck this down into the side of the basket. So after the hot glue is dried, it dries pretty quickly, I'm going to put my embellishments on. And these flowers are rather large, but if you look at the dress that Elsa has on Frozen Fever, they match almost perfectly. And again, I found these at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to take these off of the stems and just put the flowers themselves on. So I'm going to get rid of the stem part. And I'm going to put these over here to the side, and they are rather large, so I'm just putting two of them on right now. So I'm going to put one right here and then one to the bottom. And then just hot glue those in place. 
So I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue here around the edge and then I'm tucking some down in the side here where I'm going to place it. And then I'll also hot glue some of the flowers down in just a second after I put this one on there. And then I want that piece sticking up right there, so I'll just hot glue that down. And try to arrange the flowers where you can see them a little bit more and hot glue them. So this is what my Elsa Frozen Fever basket looks like, and I think this would look really cute with some Frozen Fever toys and accessories placed in there. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of shopping and share some Easter basket ideas coming up. But this is our Elsa inspired by Frozen Fever. You can see that the pink flowers are really, really close. And this is our Elsa Frozen Fever inspired basket. I will also be doing Anna for Frozen Fever coming up very quickly and I'm actually very excited about hers because I love the sunflowers on her dress. I think they're really super cute. So that is it. Says it for our Elsa Frozen Fever inspired Easter basket. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed taking a look at this and I'll also be doing Anna coming up shortly. So thanks so much for watching today and have a great day.